In the crypto world, you have many options to store your coins. There's a version called a hot wallet and a cold wallet. And the difference between the two is a hot wallet can be stored on something software based like a tablet or a PC or a phone. And a cold wallet means it's a physical device that you're actually storing your coins on that's encrypted. The physical device will look something like a USB stick. We're not going to go that too deep into it. We're going to be looking at a simplistic version that supports many different coins and it's called Exodus. Exodus is a very popular wallet that you can install on a Windows 10 PC, an Apple iPhone or Android device. And we're going to show you how to do it on a Windows 10 PC and we're going to do that right now. So our first step is to open up a browser, go to a new tab and head over to google.com. Inside Google, we're going to type in Exodus and search for that. The very first link is exodus.com and that is the official URL. And over here in the top right hand corner, we have a download link that we can click on. So we'll click on that and as you can see, you have a mobile option for Android and iOS. And we also have some download for PC versions and other desktop versions. We're gonna be doing the Windows app version. So we'll click on that and let download. Uh, there's other variations of the desktop versions that you can have as well. So once it's done downloading, we're gonna click on it and we'll start the installation by minimizing the browser. And it's just gonna pop up here. It's a very quick installation. It does not take very long. Uh, basically, it's just one prompt like this one to tell us that it's done and uh, we can start running it by clicking on the desktop icon. So we'll click OK, and then we're gonna double click on the icon, and we're gonna load up the wallet. So here we go, we're in the wallet now, and we might get some prompts here, let's just see. Okay, so here's a prompt, we'll just close this out. You get some promotions here and there, it's not a very big deal. So here's the wallet itself, and uh, all the coins that are available and associated with it. And you can also visit the exchange by clicking on that. And then they have uh, investment options, which are all included as part of the Exodus network. Now, the first thing that we want to do is set up a password because by default, it is not set up. And it's something that you want to do to make sure that your wallet is secure. So we want to go over to the settings icon in the top right hand corner. Let me maximize that. And then we can click on the settings icon, which is right here. We want to click on the backup icon which is the last in the list. So now you're prompted to type in a password. Now you gotta make sure that this password is alphanumeric, numbers, letters, characters, a whole bunch of stuff, maybe 10 or more digits long to make sure it's nice and secure. So you're gonna put that password in here and then click on next. And next you have a phrase, a 12 word phrase that it generates for you. And this is for the blockchain to make sure that you are you if you ever need to get back into your wallet. So you have to know what the words are. And in here, if you just put your mouse over it, um, it'll automatically unlock and show you. So let me just show you what the words are. So here are the words in my wallet. Now I'm showing you because this is just for demonstration purposes, I'm not actually going to use this wallet, but you have to know all 12 of them. So you can write them all down or you can scroll down and it has a print phrase link right here. You can click on it and print it out. So you have a printed copy of it as well. Maybe put it in a filing cabinet somewhere secure and then click on next. And the last step is to check your paper backup. So it wants to validate to make sure that one of these four words is the same word that is in your paper copy. So we know that govern is it. So we're going to select govern and that is the correct one. It'll light up green and we can click on finish and that will take care of setting up the password protected wallet. So that's how we secured our wallet. We've set up a password and um, say if you want to have access to your wallet and you want to send and receive coins. So we'll just head over to the main window here and go up to the wallet icon and we'll click on it. And here's all the coins that are in here by default. If we want to add more, we can click on the add more button here, search for the coin that you want to receive, and then you can add it in. So now say you want to receive Dogecoin, what you want to do is select Dogecoin at the top menu, click on the receive button, then you're given this address and a QR code. Now you can copy and paste this, you can send it in an email, you can instant message it to somebody, or just provide it as a text message. However you wanna send it is up to you. Once the person receives the address, they can send the Dogecoin to it, and after the transfer is complete, it'll appear here in your wallet.
Now this is gonna be the same process for any of the coins you wanna receive. You click on the coin that you want, whether it's Ethereum, Dogecoin, or Bitcoin, and then you get the address, you copy that address and provide it to whoever you want to receive the bit cryptocurrency from. And that's how you install the Exodus wall on a Windows 10 PC. I hope you find this useful. If you did, please give us a like. We'll be looking at a lot of other methods and how to mine cryptocurrency as well as wallets and how to install them on devices, laptops, computers, phones. If that interests you, please subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.